So, a family vacation, 1963, never mind how old I was. It's raining and my parents decide to take the kids to a movie. Now playing, The Nutty Professor. I was spooked by the poster, which pictured a beautiful woman being menaced by a shadowy figure. What did he become, the poster warned. What kind of monster? But my father reassured me. That's Jerry Lewis, he said, and if Jerry Lewis is in it, it's going to be funny. Jerry Lewis turns 90 today. He is one of the last of the great 20th century show business legends whose career spanned the breeding ground of the Catskill Mountain Resorts, radio, movies, television, even Broadway. Lewis, with partner Dean Martin, and in his solo films, was for two decades one of America's biggest box office stars in Paramount Studios' bread and butter. But American critics tended to dismiss him and his slapstick romps. The French, you know the joke, different story. The Cahiers du Cinema crowd recognized his genius, no less than Jean-Luc Godard, when he was a critic, wrote that Lewis was better than Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton. It is only late in his life that Lewis has gotten the recognition and respect so long denied him. Perhaps it started with his revelatory dramatic performance in Martin Scorsese's The King of Comedy, for which he was criminally not even nominated for an Oscar. Critics praised his acting, which Lewis thought was hysterical. What did they think I've been doing all these years, he asked a biographer. In the years since, there have been other career highs, an arc on Wise Guy, an instant classic episode of Mad About You. He received the Gene Herschel Humanitarian Award from the Academy, presented by Eddie Murphy, and has been the recipient of Life Achievement Awards and Film Retrospectives. New York's August Museum of Modern Art just completed its tribute, Happy Birthday, Mr. Lewis, The Kid Turns 90. Curator Dave Kerr wrote, back in 2004, is it finally time to stop with the French love him jokes and acknowledge that Jerry Lewis is one of the great American filmmakers? All that is academic. I remember growing up with the kid, as his character came to be called, also known as the idiot, or as the French say, le idiot. I was a big fan of the Three Stooges and the silly Bing Crosby, Bob Hope road movies, but the Lewis screen persona was even more relatable than the childlike Stan Laurel. With nerdish names like Stanley, Melvin, and Marvin, Lewis's characters were naive, well-meaning, clumsy, prone to spastic bouts of excitement, and socially awkward. They were outsiders. I could relate. Lewis likes to say that he got paid for doing what children got punished for. Children love that. So happy birthday, Jerry. He's considered an elder statesman now, but it is heartening to see in recent appearances that even at 90, he hasn't outgrown the kid. And that's reassuring for someone who's about to turn, well, never mind how old I am. I'm Donald Liebenson for MillionaireCorner.com. Thanks for watching.